Hello and welcome to your 59th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and tonight I want to show you how to create, alter, and drop a user-defined scalar function. Before we proceed, if you have not done so, please go back and watch tutorials 57 and 58. They're the two that came right before this one and the information presented in them is directly relevant to this tutorial. It will make this tutorial make a lot more sense. Both 57 and 58 are information only tutorials. There is no hands-on exercise in it and realistically 57, 58 and this one 59 probably all should have been one tutorial. However, I elected to break it up into three parts so it wasn't too much information to take in all at once. So. With that said, let's begin. Please connect to SQL Server Management Studio. Connect to an instance of SQL uh, Server. And then from there, we're going over to our Object Explorer. We're going to want to expand our Databases folder. We're going to AdventureWorks 2012 here. And then from here, we want Programmability is the folder we're looking for. We want to expand that. Now we want to right click the function folder and we're going to select new scalar values function. Now we see that it's automatically populated our query editor window with this sample here. And this is a starting point for creating the scalar function. However, I've made some modifications specifically to this starting point sample that we're going to be using. So let's get rid of this. Let's go over here and grab what I prepared right here. All right, copy that. Go back over, paste this guy in. Okay, so now that we have that, go ahead and type this code in. And what this code, it creates a scalar function that accepts a date value as a parameter and returns an integer that is calculated in the begin in the code block of the code. And if you're not familiar with begin in, I already covered that in a previous tutorial, so you can go review that. But anyways, we want to go ahead now and execute this. All right, commands completed successfully. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to paste in another piece of code. So let's go grab that. And this is the one we want right here. Now copy this guy. Okay, let's go back over to Management Studio. Now we're going to new query. All right. Paste this in. Let's go ahead and execute. All right. Now. So we see the result set here. Uh, User-defined scalar functions are used with the same syntax as built-in functions that I previously discussed in a different tutorial. If the parameter is optional, you can call the function without specifying a value. On the other hand, if a default value was assigned to the function, the function would uh, function call would resemble the following syntax. Now let me just go show you that. It's going to be right here, like database object, get employee default. The keyword default tells the SQL Server engine to use the value that was assigned to the parameter when it was created. A key advantage to using functions is that now instead of performing the calculation inline, a function can be used to return the age. The function can be reused by other programmers providing a consistent mechanism for calculating the data. You may have noticed that the age is not calculated correctly. Instead of returning the years, the function returns the days. So check that out. Okay. Next, I'm going to have you alter the function to return years instead of days. So okay, I can show you that right here. See, we see date diff day we want that to be years so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back over here to the object explorer we're going to expand the functions folder 
and we're going to expand the scalar value functions folder right here. And we want to right click on right here, bbo.get employee age function and select modify. All right. Now, okay, in the query editor, we want to locate the select statement and change the word day. So right here, we see our select statement. Now we want to change this to year. All right. Your code should look just like this now. And from here, <coughs> sorry. From here, we want to just go ahead and re execute the query. All right. Commands completed successfully. Uh, success. And now, when we go back and we look at this, we should say, uh, go ahead and let's execute this now. <coughs> Sorry about that, having a little bit of a coughing spell. Anyways, now that we've uh, re executed this query, we can see that the uh, age is being shown here in years as we wanted. And remember, before it was in days. If we go back and we change it back again, what if we put day back again, execute again, let's go back now and execute again, up oh, now see we see this large number is calculating in days, so there you go, um, what else did I want to show you, oh I wanted to show you real quick if you wanted to, uh, if, if you wanted to drop the function, it's just the drop function, all capitals, drop space function space bbo dot get employee age and that will go ahead and drop your function for you so thanks for stopping by this tutorial um, in the next tutorial I'll be covering executing scalar functions and specifically calling scalar functions inline and some other good stuff so see you there thanks for stopping by